take the thermistor from this stage and a steel rule and then with a marker pin carefully put in the thermistor at the very end of the rule measuring 11 millimeters from the tip of the thermistor and then just gently make a mark on the thermistor at 11 millimeters okay once you've done that we need to then take the head block assembly that we last worked on in stage 30 and noticing a small hole here which is 11 millimeters in depth carefully place the thermistor into the hole down to the 11 millimeters like so Now, taking the tubing and the cable tidy that we got here, carefully bending the thermistor over the same as we have with the others, just carefully feed the cable over the two connections like so, and then continue to wind that around so that it protects the cables all the way along to roughly, I'd say about five or six inches and then stop there, okay? Now, once you've done that, take your cable clamp and Push that over the end of the cable like so and then take the M4 truss head screw placing that down and being very careful screw that down into position making sure that it's not pulling down too tight on the end but you're clamping the cable and the cable wrap and then once you've done that then continue knowing full well that you're not going to damage this end feeding your cable into the cable wrap. Now once you've done that, leave enough just for the ends for later, so don't do it all the way, okay? And then once you've done that, take your 1.5mm Allen key and just making sure that the end of the heater block is not touching the thermostat on the heat sink so just carefully pull that back slightly okay and then once you've done that you can then tighten that back up again okay and that completes this stage